The name is Mungin Sosiba. Um, I was diagnosed in 2011 when I was doing my metric. I have accepted who I am, you know, and I have, I have accepted what I have. I think I brought HIV to my own life, you know, because I, I used to live a reckless life, you know. I, I can't blame anybody, I can't shift the blame or whatnot, because I used to drink a lot, I used to party a lot, and yeah, it's just basically me who I think I, think I went out, you know, looking for HIV, and I, I got it. I remember the first time when I came here, you see, the, the queue was up the stairs, you know, it was the longest queue that I've ever seen, you know. Back in the days, I used to, like, spend the whole day, you know, waiting for my medication, but right now, it's, it's, it's more efficient. It's more efficient, and um, it allows us to dispense more accurately. It allows us to not really make mistakes. In terms of picking, I mean, there's no, there's no margin for error. There's, it's just not possible for, for the machine. If, you, if you've got the 3D dimensions and you've got the, the barcode, the picking happens very quickly. From the time that they post the, the transaction, it's within 10, 13 seconds, the machine will start running, picking that up and then bring it up. And of course, then the, the, a, lot, a lot of time now is spent cancelling the patient, which is more important. It wasn't being done in the past. If you're HIV positive, life doesn't end there. But if you're HIV negative, you don't want to be HIV positive, and nobody is immune to the virus. News that moves. ENCA.com.